to our live video. As I mentioned before, we're going to be giving away three UV lights. And I figured I'd go ahead and sweeten the deal a bit. And to sweeten that deal, I'm going to be giving away some lights while telling you how to maximize the profits. But in the meantime, let's wait for a few people to come in here. And my son's going to take some time and share it where the places where we're going to be giving the lights away. So kind of hang with me. And I'd like to say from the get-go here, we've had a very busy year here at Truck Mount Forums, TMF, a short acronym for it. And we wouldn't be able to be as successful as we are without having uh, good members and good people in this industry. And we hope that we have done our part to make this a better industry by raising the bar of quality and bringing quality items, quality information, and helping you grow your business. So give me a minute or so. We're going to break down maximizing not only the profit capability, but also the usage of it and to make sure that your light is performing uh, and functioning properly, regardless of which light you have. Because believe me, there's a lot of variables in the lights, and I'm also going to break that down for you too. All right, so let's kind of wait for my son to break it down. It should be pretty close now. And um, I think you're going to be quite impressed uh, with the not only the profit potential, but also displaying the professionalism towards your customer and setting yourself apart from your competitors. And really, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You want to go ahead and make that impact, that visual impact, that psychological impact that separates you from all your competitors and also helps you build a lifetime client. That's what it's all about. It's been said that a lifetime client has a value of somewhere around $30,000. You add that up over, I've been doing this 40 years, tens of thousands of clients, $30,000 times 10,000 clients, plus you can see what that adds up to be. It's very successful. So you build that clientele, that base, that foundation, and on top of that foundation, it continues to get exponential growth. Next thing you know, you're making a ton of money, have a ton of cash flow. But you never want to stop learning, you never want to stop raising the bar, and you never want to stop uh, trying to do a higher quality job and delivering that customer experience so you can have that relationship and continue that relationship for a good amount of time. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and break this down. First of all, I want to tell you something that I like to teach my employees and I tell people in my tmfacademy.com when I'm teaching about sales. Number one, when it comes to something and you want to sell something, build the value. Do your best not to reveal the price until you build the value. Once you build the value, people can appreciate the price. Let's face it, you can buy UV lights for 25, 50, 75, 100, 150, 175 or 180, what ours cost, uh, 200, 300, 400, and 500. All right, but you have to think about, is it a good value? That's what really matters. Now think about this, since I have been doing this for 40 years, since I have owned truck mount forums for over almost a couple of decades, um, I have the YouTube channel, I have the online school, the on-hand school here. I'm very conscious about what I use in my own uh, cleaning company for all my employees, and then I'm conscious about what I'm going to offer you because I have to you know, I have a, a level of credibility and trust that's built up with members and people in the industry. So I have to deliver the absolute best. So I have to think from a carpet cleaner's perspective. And a lot of these lights now actually come from different industries. They weren't made for the carpet cleaning industry. Many of them were made for, you know, crime scene investigation, uh, pest control, even underwater use, you know, heating things up and doing some type of chemistry work. You know, so there's all, and, and then there's just all different types of fields that it's being used in. But you want to make sure that it works the absolute best in our industry. That's what's really important, okay? Because we're looking for urine on plastic carpets. So even though a light might seem to have a better throw or a better focus, but when it comes to urine, it doesn't reveal urine as good as some of the other ones. So I gathered all the different lights from the industry, as you can see here, and I focused on making it the best value possible while delivering the strongest performance. 
And as you can see in my kit right here, and you can stay right there, as me not to get any closer. You can see I've got the light in here, and it's a very heavy, durable metal, so that's really nice. It's just a you know, it's quality unit. We put a longer lanyard on there, and you can write your name on it, and we do it in red. Why do we do that? Because you know what's expensive? Losing a UV light. Okay, because so what you can do is write your name and phone number on there. That way, if you accidentally leave it behind, a customer will call you. But it's hard to leave behind if you set it somewhere, and it has a red lanyard on it. Another cool thing is it fits right in your pocket. Okay, some of these other ones don't fit in your pocket. So this fits in your pocket, so you're less apt to lose it, and it's also not overbearing when you walk inside with a customer. And you should walk inside and start, you know, using the light immediately as soon as you walk in. Okay, and never. Point this in somebody's eyes. These lights are extremely strong, especially ones we have, and they have warnings on them because they can blind you, blind a pet, or blind a child. You're only looking for urine, okay? Uh, it comes with a charger. Now, what's cool about the charger and the batteries that we offer, I could have went with some of these bulky lights with these bulky batteries with several batteries in them, but they're hard to locate, and they're expensive. But you know what's inexpensive? Vape batteries. Okay, so this is a vape battery. So if a battery goes out on you, you don't have to have downtime. And we're in a race against downtime. Downtime is a killer. Downtime uses up for a day or two, and you can't use your UV light. My trucks average $150 to $200, sometimes $300 and $500 in your up sales when they go inside a home. And all my employees know that I will fire them if they walk in and they're not using their UV light. And never ask a customer for permission. Okay, it's better to ask. Uh, for forgiveness and permission. Just pull it out, start walking around and locating what's going on inside there. So here you've got a vape battery charger. If this fails, you lose it, run down to a vape shop and get it. You lose a battery, you want an extra battery, go down there. So here you're saving money two ways. You're saving it because you can get it locally and you don't have downtime. And number two, it's very inexpensive compared to very expensive batteries here. Another thing too is a lot of these just have disposable batteries in them. So yeah, okay, well I got this for $50, $75. Well, number one, it doesn't find urine very well. And you have to dim the lights. With ours, you don't have to dim the lights. Uh, every once in a while somebody comes on and says, well, I might have to dim the lights with yours, Rob. It's probably because it's not working correctly. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you to make sure it's working correctly and you're maximizing the power. Because believe me, here I am under fluorescent lights. And you can see this. Can you see this behind me, Abby, Esme? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, so you can see it. It really does work. Keep that away from your eyes. Very important. Comes with a carrying case, but I just kind of keep mine in my pocket there. All right, so here you have these. Now, here's, the, here's another thing you want to think about, too. As, uh, you know what's expensive? Is not only downtime is expensive, but also if you have to order parts from somebody and they either don't have them in stock or they charge a lot of money for proprietary parts. One thing I do here is being a cleaner and understanding how important it is to have your tools functioning properly and quickly and up to date. Not only is it durable and very seldom breaks down, but when it does break down, I carry tons and thousands of dollars of parts for everything. I've got the battery chargers. I've got the lens holder. I've got the, the magnifier. I've got the uh, lenses in stock. I've got the holders for the lenses. I've got the O-rings. I've got the switches in stock. I've got the LEDs in stock. I've got the base in stock. So I've got everything in stock. So if you have a problem, you can get to it fast. Now you might have heard there's a couple of distributors online that they don't care how fast they get it to you. Once they made the sale, they don't care. You might get it a week or two later. And guess what? You make them mad, guess what can happen? I've seen this happen. They won't sell it to you. And guess what? You've now bought something that has proprietary parts on it. So now you can't get any parts for it because the guy's upset because people are finicky and they don't care about customer service. We built TMF on customer service. I built my local company, which has more five-star reviews than any company in the Hampton Road 7 City District, maybe in the state of Virginia. We're like a thousand, uh, I don't know, six or seven hundred on Google. We have Yelp, we have Facebook, all that. Across our channels, thousands of them. On Facebook, I mean on, you, on our tmfshop.net, we have more five-star reviews than any other supply company in the industry. Why is that? Because I brought that same philosophy of under-promising, over-delivering, and driving home fantastic customer service, and then we're getting rewarded for it. So I just want you to kind of understand that. So here you have all the different lights here. 
and I went through all of them. I compared them all, and there's, we came up with this being the very best light to be able to find urine. There's just no comparison. Now, I also kind of wanted to let you know that on top of it, I give you videos. So if you need to fix it yourself, I give a lot of video help through my YouTube channel. So if you got a problem with something, whether it's a wand, whether it's a UV light, whether it's any type of tool that we sell, type of equipment, you can go there and get the videos and get the answers real fast. And I think that's important too. Now, so I think I've established a value, all right? I'm gonna be giving three of these away at the end. So all you gotta do is come in and comment, make a comment or a reply. I'm going to pick people randomly and a couple of group owners besides myself they're going to be able to give some out also on top of it. Now, let's go ahead and break down troubleshooting. What if you're inside of a home or you've been using your UV light for a while or maybe you just got it and it doesn't seem as bright as you think it should. You should never have to dim the lights. If you dim the lights with a woman in the home when you first walk in and you're first meeting her and you're shutting her shades, that's awkward. So that's something I took in, into consideration. I don't want it to be awkward. So I made the light bright enough. So if you get the light, the number one thing to do, first of all, charge your battery all the way. I know it's tempting to throw it in there, turn it on and see how it looks, to look through the house, look in the bedroom, look in the bathroom, which is going to gross you out, by the way. Maybe don't do it with your wife. All right. And uh, then go ahead and make sure that the battery is fully charged. Throw it in there. Turn your lights inside your home. Start walking around and see if you can see things on the carpet, especially if you have a pet. All right. Now, let's suppose you know what, it didn't seem as bright as Rob says it is, all right? Well, there's a couple of things can be going on. Number one, when these batteries come, sometimes they have a little haze or a glaze, should I say, on the positive and the negative. Simple solution to that. Just take a little ice pick, rough it up a bit. Rough up the top, rough up the bottom. That's simple. So there's your first solution to it. Number two is maybe you've got it screwed down too hard or too loose. So point it to wherever you're working at and go ahead and you know, turn it slightly one way or the other and see if it tightens and brightens like down to the carpet or whatever you're looking at. All right, so there's a couple of simple solutions right there. Now, two things can happen also. Maybe in transportation, perhaps, it could have got moisture damage. And this is probably the number one thing I run into with cleaners. They set them down in places they shouldn't or they get them in a place where it has a lot of moisture. Let's face it, we're working in an environment cleaning carpets. If they lay them on the floor, or they take and they put them inside their van, maybe they set them in the back of it, maybe there's some water on side there and you get some water damage. How can you tell that? And Esme, I hope you can see this without moving closer, but here's one with water damage that was came to me. And circle in the middle of that, Esme? Is that obvious? Yeah. See that circle in there? That circle means that there's water damage. See that sun? kind of what you know also. See that circle on there? That shows there's been water damage. That's not going to be very bright when it comes to looking at things. And remember, we got filming lights up in here. Now, look at this one. See how solid that is? And, I can, and another thing too is you can feel the heat. Here I'm about six to eight inches away. That is hot. And as a matter of fact, you can use this to remove some stains, mustard and stuff like that. Keep that in mind. That's kind of cool. Here, I'm not feeling much heat at all. Okay? And what's happened is it has damaged the LED. And guess what? We carry the LEDs in stock. And they're inexpensive, and you can put them in yourself through a video, or you can send them back to me. If you want to send it back to me overnight, I'll fix it for you the next day, and send it back the next day. That's the type of customer service that we deliver. Now, let's suppose it's not cutting on. Well, try the same thing I said. Check the glaze on this. Make sure you have a good battery. It doesn't hurt. You either buy a backup battery from us, and get yourself a backup battery because let's face it these last like a week or so oh that's another thing so many of here only last a day so oh they say well i got a better deal and stuff like that and, and you recharge the batteries and it only last a day or you last a half a day ours will last like a week sometimes two weeks and that's using it in three homes a piece all right so that's kind of cool so see how i thought this out the research and development and being a cleaner i know what works and i know what doesn't work and I want it on the best spectrum. So let's suppose it's not cutting on. Well, throw a new battery in there first, okay? If that doesn't work, more than likely it's probably a switch. And so you can take and uh, you can test the battery, see if it's good, but all you gotta do is listen to the switch and see if it's working. 
Another thing too is there's two little notches and you can't see it from there is, but you can tighten up this. Sometimes it comes loose and it's just not touching. The springs come loose. So make sure your spring is working because usually it's not the switch, usually it's the spring or the internals have come a little bit loose and closing it up and doing it. At least could have some water damage, could have a bad, bad LED. But any of those things are simple things that you can work through. You could have a bad charger. Your charger turns red when you put a battery in there, okay? And then it'll turn green when it's charged. So make sure you completely charge that up. I'm gonna reemphasize that again. Make sure you completely charge up your battery right from the start. I can't tell you how important that is. And so if you want to answer, answer some questions, let me know if there is any questions. I'm going to do a short Q&A after this, all right? Just a short Q&A. And this will be on YouTube and all of our channels and our truckmountforums.com, the actual forum too. So there you have it. And I've had a couple of people, we give a year warranty with these. I've had a couple of people that had some problems, uh, you know, a year and a month later. It's rare. These things really hold up well. They're very durable, very strong. They've sent them to me and I just go ahead and fix them for free and send them back to them. Or if you're a good client, I want you happy. I'm trying to build a relationship with you because I realize if I make you successful, you'll make me successful. See, there you have it. You have all the different size lights. We kind of went with a medium sized light, a high quality, high durable, high visibility, high, highest performing. I believe it's the highest performing light in the industry. Oh, and this is cool too. You can find urine from 10, 15 feet away. So it doesn't slow you down. You're walking through the room. You're checking real good. Yes, Mrs. Jones. Yeah, how long has she had the carpets? Uh, did the, oh, you didn't have pets, but I'm finding a little bit of urine. Did the customer, before, did the homeowner before you might have pets? Well, I'm gonna let you know, Mrs. Jones, that if we end up coming in here, urine goes down as an acid, but turns into an alkaline salt over 24 to 48 hours. Well, if I come in and I clean the carpets, it's liable to wet those salts out, or if it gets humid outside, it's going to off gas. Guess who you're going to blame? You're going to blame me. So you see how I set that expectation level? I'm not accepting responsibility for that carpet. You know why? I didn't pee on the carpet. Their dog did or the former dog did. So I'm not going to accept it. And if there's going to be an odor problem, they're going to have to accept it. And if you want to see a good video, go to my, uh, my urine uh, detection video. It's on, just, just type in urine and truck mount forms in YouTube. It's a great video and it discusses the different stages. Stage one, stage two, and stage three, and also how I uh, take care of urine control. You know, pets are a multi-billion dollar industry and people love their pets. I mean, I think my wife loves her pets more than me. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but I tell you what, I think she'd do fine if I was gone and the pets were still there. And if they have little accidents, and that's what they call them, accidents, they're happy and people will spend money on their pets because they love them. You spend money on things and people and pets that you love. So you want to take care of them. And here's another thing I do to close a sale. It might be expensive to do it and it might be, mm, that sounds kind of expensive. I said, I understand, Mr. Jones. I have pets too. And sometimes they're expensive but it's because we love them, right? And then I go quiet. And they go, wow, yeah. If I don't take care of this, probably thinks I don't love my pet. I do love my pet. I mean, people will go in and spend a thousand, two, three thousand dollars to have surgery on their pet. I'm not going to tell you how my dad took care of pets uh, back in the 60s and the 70s, okay? If the pet had a problem, there's a comedian online that's kind of funny. He said, he said, if our dog had to have surgery or had a problem, guess what? We got a new dog the next day. <laughs> it's terrible. And I'm just kind of kidding. We would never do that. We love our pets and we appreciate them. You know, I've come to... Uh, Recognize, recognize them as a family member. We even call our pets our children. And if they're and the, and when my wife comes home, I say, "Hey, look, mom's home." You know, so that's the type of relationship we built with pets. We've come to have a more appreciation than the last generations. And with that appreciation comes the uh, the niche or the need to fulfill the obligation because pets have mistakes inside of homes. It's best to get them potty trained. Here's another thing too. Ask the customer, is the pet trained? If they're not trained, you're gonna know they're gonna have future accidents. So let them know that you can go ahead and take care of those future accidents and you can identify the difference. Yes, uh, it's gonna leave some bio salt material, salt damage behind. Pets can see in UV, all right? So you're still gonna see a little bit of, of it, but it's gonna be a dulling of it. It's gonna look a dull yellow or green, the old stains. The new stains will look a bright yellow or green. 
And that's how you can differentiate the difference as a professional. But let them know it's still nice and clean and healthy. And a good example I'll use, I said, well, look, if you spill some uh, food, mustard, or something like that on a blouse, usually talking to women, um, and you go to wash it or clean it, maybe you didn't get all the stain out, but you know it's clean and healthy, right? So it's the same thing. We're going to get it nice, clean, and healthy. The good thing about the urine salts is you can't see it with your naked eye. But a pet can, and they can also smell it. So if they can smell it, they're going to readdress it or continue to go. Or the pet's just got a problem. So here you are, you're setting the expectation level. You're figuring out what, side, what went on inside the house. You're basically becoming kind of a detective, okay? And this is your detective tool. And I'll say what I always say in my videos. This is an ATM machine right here. I ain't lying to you, this is. Right here, you pull this out right here, my employees make an average of $100 to $300 extra a day. So we're, as carpet cleaners, we're always upset. Well, I can't believe Mrs. Jones is a price shopper. You know, she's going to get this cheap thing done and stuff like that. Well, are you a price shopper? Are you buying a cheap light, UV light? One that's actually going to cost you more money longer? Because you know when people have the carpets cleaned by cheap carpet cleaners, they do a halfway job, they do more damage, they're going to have to have more work to be taken care of. It's going to shorten the life of their furnishings and stuff like that. Price shopping only hurts the customer. Well, guess what? Price shopping only hurts you. And on top of it, if you're a price shopper, guess what you're going to attract? Price shoppers. If you're a quality-oriented person, somebody who buys quality, uses quality, customers either recognize it consciously or subconsciously, and you're going to attract quality. All right, so continue to use quality pro uh, uh, tools, quality products like Unchained, for instance. Our Unchained is a great seller. It's a fantastic product. Uh, feel free to look it up in our store. And that way you can go ahead, take care of the odors, take care of the stains, find the stains, satisfy the customer, because it all boils down to this. The customer called you to solve a problem. She didn't call you, call you to not solve a problem or to do more or to do more damage to a problem. Rather than just wetting it out, not locating urine stains, a lot of people say, well, I don't really need a light and stuff like that. Well, guess what? The house probably smells worse the next day because it's off gassing. And more likely, she's not going to call you back. Guess what she's going to do? She's going to call somebody who's quality oriented like me because you dropped the ball. And I'm going to take that ball and I'm going to run for a touchdown. And you ain't never getting that customer back. And guess who's getting that $30,000 lifetime customer? Guess who's getting those repeats? Those reviews? Me. Guess who's growing his business exponentially, getting more wealthy and more wealthy? Me, because I was quality oriented. Or you, because you're quality oriented. Guess who is not getting anywhere and staying in the same place in life? The people who are shopping price. Okay? The people who are having to have to buy batteries all over and over again. The people who can't have downtime. The people who can't find the parts. The people who have bad relationships with bad distributors. Those are the people because you shop price instead of shopping quality. Hey, I'm getting off my uh, stand right now, right there. That's enough preaching right there. I just wanted to kind of let you know, it's just so important to realize that I've spent a lot of time, energy, and resources doing this for you to save you money. I went and bought all this. I'm the one that spent thousands of dollars of time, energy, and buying the tools and sourcing them out, testing them and comparing them. Oh, here's one more thing too. A lot of companies will tweak down. They'll look for ways to find cheaper batteries, cheaper switches, and no wonder they fail so fast and stuff like that, right? Cheaper components. Well, guess what I do? I'm always tweaking upwards. That's why you'll see a V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 with me. Version 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Why is that? Because I'm tweaking upward. I'm constantly improving the quality so it improves your capability to be able to maximize your profits. And that's what it's all about. That's what TMF was established for in the first place. When YouTube was born, I was there. And when I was there, my son and I said, you know what, Dad, this will, my son said, Dad, this would be an excellent platform because I said, look, I'm looking for a way to raise the bar of the industry so I can pass on something better to my lineage, my son, my grandson, and because our company, our industry is uh, inundated with price shoppers. And I wanted to uh, 
uh, raise the bar, get rid of those, and we can maximize the profit. So my son and my grandson and my lineage would have a better lifestyle. And in return, you're getting the same thing. So we started doing the YouTube videos, the help videos. So if you don't mind, please comment, please subscribe. And uh, if you haven't already, joined our, join our Facebook, like our fan page, our TMF fan page, also our Truck Mount Forums Cleaning Professionals page. I truly appreciate it if you go ahead and do that. So as I've uh, been saying a lot in, in the last uh, year or so in our videos, I'm, I'm a big believer in the law of reciprocity. I'm going to say it again. I believe if I help you become successful, profitable, more happy, you'll do the same thing for more uh, for me. So I truly appreciate that. I'm Rob Allen with Truck Mount Forums. And that concludes this video. You see all the time, the energy, the value, and the effort that went into this and why this is a fantastic value. It's going to make you think about ROI, okay? Return on investment. Who cares if something costs a thousand dollars if it makes you ten thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars? That's what this light can do. So what's 150, 175, 200 bucks? It's nothing because you're going to make that back in a day or two. I can't tell you how many testimonials. Go read our testimonials in our store, okay? Go read our testimonials online about people saying, you know what, Rob, I made my money back in the first day. That's called ROI. All right, and I'm going to help you. If you've got a problem or a question, I'm accessible. You can reach me through the forum. You can reach me through private message. You can reach me through Facebook, uh, my phone, text message, support at truckmountforums.com. I have all these avenues to be able to help you when you get into a tight spot or something might not be going right. But for the most part, it's built in such a high quality manner it's going to hold up, and if you treat it good, it'll treat you good. All right, I think that's it. Thank you very much. Are there any questions, son, you want me to entertain before we move on? All right, how about you say we all go home and get some dinner? Because you're supporting the family business, and we do this to eat. Well, thanks a lot, everyone. Have yourself a great day. Take care.